But anyways, well, I mean, it wouldn't be that much of a stretch. Bears, bears have been reported to be intoxicated on eating fermented apples, yeah. and I told you about the Amanita muscaria famosa. Right. There's been reports of bears eating them. So once again, I would not be surprised, considering that Sasquatch would be a primate. And maybe similar to us in many ways that, you know, they would be yeah. consuming not only the edible mushrooms, but maybe the, you know, the psychedelic yeah. ones. Well. Sasquatch. Yeah, I think there's no doubt that Sasquatch are opportunists, yeah. you know, as far exactly. as anything. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And, I'm, and they, you know, they might not be able to go to the corner store and buy a beer, so they might just eat mushrooms instead, you know, so... Just, you know, Sharon, Sharon Day, who's a contributor on uh, Sean Evidence, she has a theory that uh, Sasquatch sometimes eat fermented berries to get drunk. And I think it's, you know, that's one of the things that I love. You know, that's about, not a bad theory. That's a pretty darn good theory because that would match the, you know, reports of bears eating fermented apples. Yeah, well, that, well, that's one of the things I love about the Bigfoot community, especially now with the Internet, is you can have anybody out there that has a small theory or something that they want to share, and it's something usually at least worth considering. Right. And so uh, that's, one of my, you know, that's one of my favorite theories that uh, Sharon Day has, yeah. is the, uh, uh, the fermented berry I, theory. I'm, that, I'm, uh, I'm wondering if... Well, well, Shout out to uh, <laughs> HuntingTheory.com. <laughs> yeah. so well, we, we, we got people that talk about that they make tea. So what's new with that, you know? Speaking of theory. The Bigfoot makes tea. Yeah. Oh, really? That's awesome, yeah. man. Yeah, there's, there's people that believe that, that Bigfoot has the capability of uh, making tea. Um, there, there was even somebody who cut an account. <laughs> that, really? Oh, hey, David, are, are you serious? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They make tea? Yeah, that's what they You know what? Oh, My I'm porcelain thinking. set went missing the last time I went camping, and that would explain a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. Remember, we've been talking about the, the the fantastical things about Bigfoot. I mean, we still talk about yeah. that. We were talking about M- it last Mike, time. Michael can't stop raving about the burrowing and cave dwelling habits of Bigfoot. We can't get him to shut up about that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, let me just. Put this it's on fantastical. The That's the key word. The key word is fantastical. Like caves to get anywhere. No sense at all. <laughs> Wow, he's well, well, camera shoot. Just, well th- that push is my like theory. A, That's my theory on the on the Bigfoot there. Yet, that they're living in tunnels. This, um, this is me it's, pushing Michael's buttons right here. Well, well, you know, <laughs> you, you know what happened was I mean, you know, even, even uh, they're really the, large the, animals. You know, there's nothing really in there to eat. It's completely pitch dark. You can't see in there. And I mean, we can barely. But wait, but wait, barely get has, has, how how do they make tea? Hold on a second. How do they make tea? They need fire, don't they? He could see in the dark. He has five minutes in eyes. What are you talking about? He has bioluminescent eyes. How do they make tea? Come on, guys. How do they make tea? How do they make tea? I don't. I, well, they they they, they steal pots. <laughs> what? They, to. well, well, they gotta make fire. So you so you think that they they make fire? They use fire? Uh, well, well, this uh, this has been a console. So that people say that the Bigfoot steals certain tools. People have said that the tools have been gone missing um, uh, in the areas where Bigfoot has been sighted. So what about that though? You know. Yeah, but uh, that's. Yeah, let's take it a step further. You saying they make tea because they, they then that means they they know how to cook and they have <laughs> well, 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 you know, if, if okay, let's let's go crazy. Let's go let's go to that subject. I mean, let's, if, let's go crazy. Well, you didn't have to go, <laughs> then you're already there. Oh, uh, well, that's you're right. Already yeah. there with the cave <laughs> well, dwelling Sasquatch. Well, the reason the, the cave thing started the, the, the cave thing started for me was hey, hey, roll, roll. Um, um, uh, mark this down as a fantastical segment so that people don't take us too seriously. <laughs> about, yeah, yeah, like, tea. That's what it's called, the fantastical. My, the word, the fantastical segment. No, this, ep- but, this um, episode is called Bigfoot Makes Tea. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but, but my theory is on that is based on the fact that, you know, if these things are so elusive, where do they go? You know? Well, they're riding I mean, invisible zebras. Well, well, okay, let's talk about invisible. Well, they get invisible. Okay, fine. That's what another guy said. But, <laughs> but I'm thinking more of something more tangible would be that they, if, if this uh, creature is so physical and so strong, it, it would be easy for it to dig out somewhere and make, make, make a small dent for itself to fit where it can fit. Or, like uh, our biologist friend here, uh, Snow Walker Prime, says, I mean, there are a lot of thick places <laughs> where humans cannot walk through, um, you know, that they hang out in, you know, and, and, and live there. But anything is possible with a creature that is so impossible to find. I mean, if, if uh, okay, if this you believe that it's invisible, maybe the reason why you think it's invisible is because it hides somewhere, you know, it disappears that quick because it has a little hole that it makes for itself to jump into and we can't see it. That's okay, what I'm and I would say that the Sasquatch is living in the cave, drinking tea, are also riding invisible zebras. <laughs> I didn't say they were invisible. They're on invisible well, zebras. I think it's safe to say that not all Sasquatch would have the patience to make tea. <laughs> I, I tried to make tea out there. <laughs> 